um, steps. There's still California Coast Commission. There's also, uh, you know, plans to uh, take it outside of like the, um, the I guess the land use uh, commission realm as far as maybe like boycotts and whatever we could do to put real political pressure on, especially Bonin, you know, because he taught himself to be this, you know, advocate of uh, racial and social justice when he does the opposite, you know, but he puts on a good show. And um, like I said, as well as just holding, you know, local people in the community um, and the BNC, you know, uh, a few to uh, give example, Robert Thibodeau, to throw names out there, uh, uh, Jim, James Mures, Christian Reed. Christian Reed, yeah, but particularly with the church. Um, and uh, George Francisco. George Francisco. Those have probably been some of the most, and Will Hawkins too. Um, he's in the background, don't think we don't see you. Um, <laughs> and um, these people, like, they have businesses, they have a certain comfortability level in this community, and we need to, you know, uh, I say, um, find our way to make them uncomfortable. Not like, you know, advocating for violence, but business wise, we have boycotts, you know, there's a way we can advocate to put pressure on these people, hold them accountable. So, I'm sorry. Take them to all the time. Well, no, the, um, in reference to First Baptist Church and the last thing with, with Bonin approving, he approved the Penske application as long as they kept the exterior of the church looking like a church. But the interior of the church could be their residence. That's like a Hollywood prop building, Just, mm -hmm. really. The I'm, outside of the church and the resident. But they're going to put up a plaque. Yeah. <laughs> Unofficial. Uh, <laughs> mm, I, yeah. I have to pause for this because what would come out of my mouth would not be good. Um, in addition to that, they have consistently focused on three lots for the church. You know, it's three lots, it's three lots, even though it's, it's a seven lot Thai property. But they have refrained from focusing on what they intend to do with the other four lots. And when we had a meeting with Bonin's office and his planning person at the time, we said, why are you allowing them to continue to talk about three lots when it's a seven lot tie? And the planning document does not even allow them to separate that, separate the lots out. And her response to us at that time was, well, if we get it approved, then it will be seven lots and we don't have to. We, but wait a minute, you don't have it approved yet. But you're acting as if you do or that you will. But now, through Margaret's CPRAs, we find out they do have a plan for the other four lots. And they have been discussing that with the Coastal Commission for over a year. And during that year's time, we have waited patiently and asked, when is the issue going to be on the public agenda so that we can talk about the um, aspects of the First Baptist Church, the CEQA and all that, that we're concerned about? Oh, they keep delaying it and they keep putting it off. But all the time they're putting it off to us, they're sitting down having a meeting with the Penskys. So again, here you go. The deliberate, purposeful, backhanded, underhanded, and then you ask us to trust. And in the meantime, last year, what was it, June or July, that they passed the um, equal, what's the? Environmental ordinance? justice. The environmental justice ordinance? Mm -hmm. California Coastal Act. Are you shitting? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you passed an environmental justice ordinance all the time while you are keeping from us the fact that you are conspiring with individuals to build something that we keep saying put it on the agenda so we can address it. And for over a year, you keep it off the agenda and tell us you can't tell us when it's going to come forward? How, we go away how unjust is that? I mean, how, how, how devious, how corrupt is that? And we're, we're, we're asked to 
to try to play fair with a corrupt government. So the question is, how do we cut through that corruption? And it can only happen through unity and advocacy and power and putting people in positions like on the Venice Neighborhood Council and continuing to pressure the elected officials and get people in elected official positions in Bonnens uh, as a city council and so forth so that we can have people that have our voice and who recognize that we're not invisible and voiceless. The lady left that 